Hi guys, welcome to Mr. Jay's guide. This is your host Jay. Let's start. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create menus on your WordPress website, landing page customization, and how to add subcategory. So let's start with the video. You can see that this is our website and we do not have any menus on our website. So now we will learn about how to create menus on our website. So to create menus on your website, go to your WP admin account, then click on post, then go to categories. Then add a new category, write your category name. So I'll write as fashion, then click on add new category. Then I will write as uh, shoes, click on add new category. I'll add another category as grooming, then add new category. Okay, I'll add one more. Uh, I'll add as accessories. Then click on add new category. Now let's add these categories to our website. To add these categories, go to appearance, then menus, then name the menu. So I will just name it as top menu. I will make it as primary menu then click on create menu then go to categories click on view all then check the categories whatever the categories you wanted to add then click on add to menu now you can just change the order of the categories so you can change it as per your requirement how you want it to be appear on your website then click on save menu then go to your website refresh the page now you can see that those categories are added to your website so we have created this category just now now let me add a home menu so i'll just name it as home and in place of url i'll just copy the url of my website and paste the url here and add to menu and i'll keep it at the top so that it, it should appear at the first now click on save menu now go to your website refresh the page you can see that the home menu is added and whenever anyone is visiting to your website and clicking on the home menu it will show the first page of your website now we will learn about the second part of the video which is basic landing page customization so to customize your landing page go back to your WP admin account then go to appearance again go to customize option now go to site identity so you can see that you have your options here like your site title and your tagline so here you can just hide or make your tagline visible for others you have an option to add logo for your website and add a site icon for your website and this is how it looks like on tablets and mobile. Now after doing the setting click on publish. Now go to layout. Go to container. We have an option content layout. So it is in one container that means you will not have that box you will not have that container separate everything will show in the same container 
and this is separate container you can see that it is separated your headline your menus and everything is separated in separate container in text and box container this is the container alignment how you want it to be aligned so I'll keep it in text only and this is container width so you can just adjust the container how you want it to be appear on your website so I'm just showing the basic sites and the options of your website setting now click on publish now go back to header so header present yeah this is the default option classic options you have your options there you can just select those option and you can see how it looks like navigation before that means the navigation option will show before your name like you can see that here navigation after that means after your title the navigation options are showing here then navigation before centered yeah it is in the middle of your page this is navigation after centered so the middle of your page after the name you have the navigation option navigation left so you have many other options available here you can just you know go through all the options and check like how you want you can just see how you want your website to be look like and you can just you know do the required adjustment of your website this is in header alignment it is like you can have it at the left at the top, right or at the center okay let it be in the center and yeah it is looking good in the mobile and tablet as well yeah it is showing at the middle before it was showing at the left side but now it is showing at the middle yeah this is good actually okay let it be and let's click on publish go to primary navigation now this is navigation width how you want the width to be then in your navigation width that means the distance between the navigation the navigation alignment where you want it to be appear the left or right or center then navigation location above header like it will show above the header of your website or float right it will show the, towards the right hand side of your website so there are many other options available guys you can just go through of each of the options and then you can do the required setting of your website as per your requirement then where you want the drop down to look like left or right and just navigation search so if you're disabling it you can see that you won't see that search button so i'll just enable it so that if anyone is coming to my website and searching for any topic they can just find it by clicking on search and they can just search it with the topic name now this is in the mobile device and this is in the tablet desktop so what i'll do is i'll keep it in the middle rather than keeping in the site fine yeah this is looking better in mobile as well as the tablet I'll hit publish now then go back and go to sidebar okay so this is your sidebar towards the right hand side here so you have few settings here so. okay so these are the settings available here so i won't do anything i'll just let it be then in under footer i'll just enable back to top button so that you know 
whenever someone is visiting to your website and going to the bottom they can just click on back to top and then it will take them to the top so you can do all the uh, setting and alignment from here so you have many options all you have to do is you need to go through each of them by seeing the video you won't understand unless you just open them and just see them how it is working then go to colors so you can just select the background colors yes so you have many other colors or options available here you can just adjust the color as per your requirement then you have block title color and navigation color present so you have many other options you can just go through each of them and you can just do it as per your requirement yeah so the navigation color presents will change the color of your navigation bar so you can see that you have options like gray you have options like red so if you're changing them it would will change on your navigation bar Yeah, In mobile also it is looking good actually. So let it be like this. Now click on publish. Now go back to your website, refresh the page, and you can see that the landing page has changed completely. It was different earlier. Now go back to typography and you have many options here like the font size line height you can just increase or decrease the line height you can change the line height is getting changed then paragraph margin so all you have to do is you have to go through each of these options and do some practice so that you know you will get to know each and every feature of your website then you can you know make the most of it once you once you're done just click on publish go back go to general setting so we won't do anything here go to menus so you can just create new menu from here as well but we have added the menu from the website directly go back go to widget now in header you can add a header now go to sidebar you can see we have search recent post and recent comment so i'll just do one thing i'll remove the recent comment so that it won't show at the right sidebar and i have search you can just remove or keep it you can also yes you can just remove or keep the recent post also so i'll just keep it click on publish now now we have footer widget one we can add widget on the footer yeah right there then we have footer bar so you can add widget in the footer bar as well we have top bar so you can add widget on the top bar from here as well so we have many other options here so you can just go through all of them refresh the page and yeah this is what we have created now let's go to the third part of our video and we'll learn about how to add subcategory so you can see that we have already created categories on our website but we do not have any subcategories on it right so now go back to your WP admin account and then go back to post categories and in place of name I'll add a category as jacket 
then I will add another category as jeans casual shirt okay and the shoes I'll add as sneakers and one more formal shoes grooming accessories so I'll just do one thing I'll just show you how to add them just go back to the appearance and then menus and we have already added these menus so what we have to do is go to categories click on view all select the categories which we have created casual shirt jacket jeans click on add to category now under fashion section I'll add casual shirt you can see it is showing as sub items So all you have to do is drag and drop it but do not keep it equal. Now add formal shoes and sneakers, click on add to menu, then drag and drop it under shoes. Click on save menu. Now go back to your website and refresh the page. Under fashion you can see that we have added these menus casual shirt jacket jeans under shoes we have added these two menu likewise you can add under grooming or accessories so this is how you can create and add subcategories to your website if you found the video was informative then please subscribe share and like the video thank you for watching